hello guys hope you all are doing well so in today's uh, session we'll do a basic inter vlan routing lab so our topology is we have a eth 1 slash 2 that goes into the wan side and eth 1 slash 1 that goes into the lan side on lan side we have created three sub interfaces for vlan 10 vlan 20 and vlan 30 okay so yeah so um, so our basic intention is to uh, get connectivity between these three vlans using Palo Alto as a layer 3 uh, interface Okay, so let's go into Palo Alto firewall and create a sub interface on ETH1 slash 1. So on ETH1 slash 1, we need to create the interface as layer 3. Virtual router, we need to keep it default and our security and our security zone we can create a new zone called LAN and let's keep it a LAN security zone with no other settings right so let's create a sub interface so our first would be for vlan 10 let's name it vlan 10 with a tag of 10 and security zone will create a new one called vlan 10 our IP address here would be 192.168.10.1 it's 24 bit subnet mask management profile will create a ping management profile here similarly another sub interface for VLAN 20 And the one for VLAN 30 also. And the management profile, let's enable pink. okay so once this interfaces has been created let's assign another IP address on ETH 1 slash 2 it goes to let's see one side interface type would be L3 keep it in default security zone let's create one more security zone called van and IP address of 1.1.1.2 slash 8 enable uh, config advanced let's enable ping here okay so basically what we did is we created five zones 
LAN, VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30 and one for WAN zone. For the VR, we have uh, this all this interface into uh, default VR. Let's get one default route that will go into next hop of ETH uh, one IP address of 1.1.1.1. Okay, so that would be our VR thing. Then let's go to security policy. So for this one, let's uh, create a security policy of any, any to any application, application default, all this action allow. Okay, so this is the configuration we need to do on Palo Alto side. Now let's uh, get into okay now let's go into this switch and let's look at what config is there okay so now let's get into interface 880 slash 0 switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port mode trunk interface eth zero slash one switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10 okay similarly for ETH 2 it would be switch port more access switch port access VLAN 20 and for ETH 3 it would be VLAN 30 okay so this is all the configuration that we need to do on this l2 switch now let's get into this pc and assign ip interface it is 0 slash 0 IP address of 192.168.10.1 with subnet maskers oh sorry it should be static route pointing to 192.168.10.10.1 that is the L3 on our Palo Alto firewall so let's do some ping tests to see if L3 is reachable okay looks like it's working Okay, similarly, let's go into our PC2 
interface it is zero slash zero IP address of 192.168.20.1 to ping 192.168.20. Okay, so this is reachable. Now let's try and ping to PC1 if. Ping 192.168.10.10. see what's happening here oh sorry it's 10.100 okay now you can see that the inter vlan routing is working fine 192.168.20.10 yep so and if we come to the, the follows let's look at interface stats yep so in this way as we can see that we are able to ping find from this r2 which is our pc1 to uh, r3 which is pc2 and in similarly we can extend this connectivity to a you know wan network wherein uh, we have a uh, one laptop connected to a WAN segment. So let's see how we can get that connectivity working So let's go to Polo and on Polo we do already have this ETH2 configured with default routes towards this So let's configure this one name let's make it internet so internet eighty eight zero slash zero IP address of one dot one dot one dot one one dot one dot one dot two duping one dot one dot two Okay, so firewall is reachable so let's create one interface loop back zero IP address of phi dot phi dot phi dot phi so basically what we have is on ETH zero 1.1.1.1 and one loop back of 5.5.5 so now let's try and see if we are able to reach 5.5.5.5 uh, from our PC2 so let's do ping from PC2 to 5.5.5.5 yep and we can see